Xbox just announced that they'll be having an event every single month leading up to the launch of Xbox Series X this holiday. And oh yeah, it looks like they actually dropped the boot up screen for the new console. And I want to talk about it. What is going on everybody, Randall Thor 19 the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a great day, and if you could do me a big favor, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. Well, Xbox is certainly looking to keep themselves in the news as they announced the Xbox 2020 today, which gives us a look into the future of what Xbox is planning for all their different events leading up to the launch of Xbox Series X. We already know of one happening this Thursday on May 7th, but they also said, hey, you can look forward to a first party event in July, and we're gonna talk about everything they announced today. And we're gonna start with the surprising reveal of what I think is the Xbox Series X boot up screen that they kind of used in a YouTube video to promote this May 7th event. I'm gonna play it right now for you guys. If that truly is the boot up screen for Series X like I think it is, I actually dig it. I like the clean look and the music is great. It's kind of a throwback to the OG Xbox mixed in with some PS2 nostalgia. Make sure you guys let me know what you think about the boot up screen in the comments below. Now moving back to the article which I'll have linked below, they make clear right away in the very first bullet point that their goal remains to launch the Xbox Series X and Halo Infinite this holiday. Now I know there's been a lot of speculation and rumors that maybe Halo Infinite might not make 2020, but it certainly seems that Microsoft and 343 are trying their best to make sure that this game launches on time. Now, of course, it doesn't say that Halo Infinite and Series X will launch at the same time. So, of course, the possibility exists that maybe Series X comes out in November and Halo Infinite launches in December. Or maybe Series X comes out in October and Halo Infinite comes out in November. But they are trying their best to make sure that the console and the flagship franchise Halo Infinite release this holiday. It goes on to mention that all 15 Xbox Game Studio teams are hard at work on next generation games for Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass, that they have new updates and titles lined up for Xbox Game Pass for console and PC, and that they're expanding Project xCloud into new countries and on new devices like iOS and PC. And later this year, Project xCloud and Xbox Game Pass will come together, enabling you and your friends to play together in more ways. Now that last bit about Project xCloud and Xbox Game Pass being brought together is a pretty huge announcement. It basically means that once you subscribe to Xbox Game Pass and you want to stream content, whether it's to your iOS or Android device or perhaps Windows 10, you'll have a library of over 200 games at your fingertips, giving gamers more options and another way of experiencing games and separating itself from Google Stadia even more. Now one of the things I really like about this press release is how straightforward and transparent it is. Microsoft is out there letting everybody know their plans and it really stands in stark contrast to what PlayStation is doing right now. We all know that Microsoft has an event on May 7th and they talk about it here in the article. They go on to say that starting with the May 7th episode of Inside Xbox, we will be showcasing what happens next in the world of Xbox every month, which is why we're calling it Xbox 2020. These monthly moments will take place throughout the rest of the year and will be a way for us to engage, connect, and celebrate with you about what's in store for the next generation of gaming, including what's next for Xbox Series X, Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Game Pass, and Project X Cloud. It certainly seems with the cancellation of E3 2020, the idea of waiting for a single event and dropping all your information is probably gone for good. Xbox really seems focused on the idea of having some sort of news to share every single month. And I think that's probably for the best. And as a content creator and a fan of Xbox, I'm actually excited at the idea of having something to look forward to every single month leading up to the launch of Xbox Series X. Now, if you missed my video yesterday, make sure you go and check it out. But I gave a preview of what I felt 
could be at the show on May 7th. And Microsoft actually detailed some of the things that we can expect to see at that show. They say, for the Xbox 2020 May update, we will focus on giving you a first look at next-gen gameplay, trailers, and sneak peeks from a wide variety of publishing partners and independent developers across the globe and industry, including Ubisoft's recently announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and hear from game creators about what they're doing with their games on Xbox Series X. Now, I speculated in the video that perhaps this this event would be centered around smart delivery and it looks like I might have been right there because they say we'll be confirming games that utilize our new smart delivery feature which ensures that you always play the best version of the games you own for your console across generations and all the games you'll see will be Xbox Series X optimized meaning they are built to take advantage of the powerful Xbox Series X features that make games look and feel incredible including 4k resolution at up to 120 frames per second direct Direct storage, hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing, super fast load times, and much more. My hope is that most games at least run at 60 frames and support the smart delivery feature. Now, what games do you expect to be at the show? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. And I know a lot of people really want to see Halo Infinite. They want to know if Fable's real. They want to know if Perfect Dark is actually a thing. And we're going to have to wait until July for that. Like I said in my previous video, I got that 100% right. In this article, they say that in July, we will dedicate time to focus on the incredible games coming from Xbox Game Studios. A number of our studio teams are looking forward to sharing first looks at new gameplay, insights from developmental teams, being optimized for Xbox Series X and brand new game announcements. The two things I want to see most at this July event are Halo Infinite gameplay. I love the campaign. I adore the multiplayer. I need that game in my life. And of course, I need to see what Fable looks like and plays like. Hopefully it's more like Witcher and less like the older Fables. But you'll notice that Microsoft said nothing about the event in June. They completely skipped over that. So I do have to wonder what exactly will they talk about there. During the boot up screen, if you paid attention, you noticed that it just popped up Xbox. No mention of Xbox Series X. Does that give more credence to the rumors about Xbox Lockhart? Could that be revealed at this June event? Or maybe will they talk more in depth about Xbox Live and showcase perhaps all the games coming to Game Pass? And then of course, there's more events later in the year. One's in August, one in September. When will we get the pre-order details and the pricing? There's a lot of stuff here to be excited about. And I'm kind of glad Xbox has decided to go with the monthly approach. Anyways, guys, that is the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel. And if you always want to be notified immediately when I drop a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate it. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.